it's time to fire this thing up. This is exciting. Check it out. The guys have finished rolling the non-skid onto this forward deck. And now the top sides of the sport fish are completely rolled and tipped. I'm pretty excited about that. Hold on. Somebody's standing on my boat. Let's go find out what's happening. Bert, what in the world? We just finished painting this boat. John, we've had a leak in this uh, window frame for quite some time now. Every time it rains, it leaks into the boat. Mike and I have tried to duplicate it with a garden hose, and we can, we can never get it to leak. But we went ahead and we masked this area off when we were rolling tip in the boat, and we had a monsoon come up, and guess what? Not a drop got in the boat. So I'm thinking it's got to be either a fastener, or it's not bedded in properly anymore, or something, but it just didn't leak. All right, we're going to have to deal with it. Hey, well, good deal. You made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. This is Bert Dell. Say hello to everybody, Bert. It's great to have you back aboard the boat. What we're on is our 1980 57-foot custom sport fish. And today here at Chip Shake TV, we're going to be addressing leaking windows. OK, this is a big issue around boats. And whenever you get water inside the boat, if you have wood, you could get rot. You could get staining issues. You can also get a lot of mold and mildew. Okay, I'm talking about smells. And we're going to be talking about a chemical today called chlorine dioxide, which has been around for a very, very long time. It's just not ever been available to boat owners. That is until now. Now, if you have an aluminum hull, all right, and maybe you have some pinholes from electrolysis out on the water, or maybe you have some leaking rivets, we have the thrill of again having Ben Goujon on the program from Goujon Brothers. And they're the makers of West System. We're gonna show you how to fix this once and for all. But guess what, before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've gotta get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working right here along the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange with, again, the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be pooling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape.